At a Morgan Janine, this family is grieving over the loss of a 16-year-old son. Sila <laughs> says she last saw her brother two days ago. That's when he was killed by Israeli fire during a raid in the West Bank, according to his family. Reuters hasn't determined the exact circumstances, but it happened during Israel's massive ongoing military operation targeting militants in the area, the largest in two decades. Father Hussam Marshoud says his son was trying to visit an injured friend at the hospital. He says he told him not to go because he had a feeling something would happen. He told his siblings to go watch after him. The United Nations and aid agencies have voiced concern over the scale of this raid by Israeli forces, saying there were restrictions on medical access, including first responders, although Israel says it has given no order to block ambulances. The Red Crescent also says it's evacuated about 3,000 people from the Janine refugee camp. Several people have been killed and about 100 wounded, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. But it's not immediately clear how many were militants and how many were civilians. As of Tuesday, Israel said it confirmed every person killed was a combatant. Hamas and the Islamic Jihad said only a handful of their fighters had died. Hamas also claimed responsibility for a car ramming and stabbing attack in the Israeli city Tel Aviv. That, it says, was retaliation for the raid in Janine. <laughs>